Hello and welcome to Crash Landing. I have to actually do, uh, I think it's, come on, uh, this. I need to do the quest, I think. Yep. Slash HQM quest. Okay. Basically, uh, this is a I want to say it's a adventurous mod. I had uh, switched off mob griefing, griefing just because I tried to do this at one point with mob griefing and it really just destroyed this entire ship except for, I guess, the plating. But It was basically hollow inside. So, just grabbing all the good stuff. Uh, this is kind of something that's a little bit different than what I'm usually used to, so let's start. Hello and welcome. I am IMPA, or, to be more precise, Intelligent Multipurpose Assistant. I am here to aid and guide you in survival on this hot, dusty planet. The good news is that you seem to have survived the crash landing fine. Good job. The bad news is that the shuttle most definitely did not. Oh well. You are stuck here for the foreseeable future. Speaking of which, you might want to get started setting up a camp, gather what supplies are left in the wreck, and then see about finding water. It is mighty dry out here. Okay, yeah, basically I was just going to let that run, and let's open this first. Gathering supplies, I just have to gather both of these. Shift right click. Claim reward. Uh, right click to get out. Uh, I want to have dirt, so I'm gonna have to go quickly grab. Er, not dirt. Or I want the dirt. But that's basically just gather a bunch of sand. Uh, this is actually dust from Ex Nihilo, which is kind of a survival mod that allows you to actually, I guess, survive when you literally cannot have like dirt or other necessary items. Now for this, I want to use the water balls. I did end up with my little test thing after a while using the uh, this water as kind of like a backup water source and so I want to kind of do that again if needed but it was not very good. Uh, I want to have this here and these I want one right here, one right here. I need the dust. Just right click with a dust block or whatever you want and I'm just looking for the bone mail. And you can get a bunch of dusts, there's actually quite a few items you can actually get, but bone mail is one of them. That's service quartz dust, AE, I think AE just normal is in here. This is for 1.6.4 uh, this should be manual submit, claim reward. There we go. Drinking mud, tools of the trade, desperate times. Uh, I'm gonna go with the easy route just because the hard route was a little bit too much. And let's see, I want the shell constructor and that. Basically what I did was this, this, uh, I think that should be correct, nope, I'm guessing, nope, that's that, huh, this should be sending. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of new. It's not working. I worked last time. Okay, apparently it doesn't work from the top. Ah, uh, hold on. And 
just don't like music. It's annoying. Uh, shift right click. Add a magazine to that because I want to have that when night comes. Uh, I also want to move these chests. Let's quickly get the dirt and a water bottle. It's dirty water, which is not good to drink, but it's an emergency. Oh, if it's an emergency, then you can do that. Manual submit, claim reward, which is actually a full water bottle, so it's actually better. Purified water, you can use. Uh, again, you can just do that. Uh, it could be cooked in a furnace. Claim reward. I just want to have a good set of material before I actually start doing this. Uh, you also got this again, uh, crafting station or slab station, basically. I just throw it up here. It's usually pretty quick and. For now, I don't need all that on me. I usually throw the dust and stuff like that in a separate chest, and I actually need to start making something. Uh, I'm going to take this out, this bone meal, and for now I'll keep this food in there. Now, a quick way to actually grow a bunch of trees, and I've noticed that, well, it's not exactly uh, the smartest thing to do, because it gives shade for things to actually survive in the day. Uh, when you're first starting out, you might want to do this. Just move the dirt. Because you, you only have one piece of dirt, you can only do so much. Now, what I want is... One of these, I want to make a crook. Basically turn this to sticks. I'm going to be using all these sticks anyway, so... Nothing hurt. Uh, that doesn't hurt. Crook. Because I can't remember if the crook specifically only gives you uh, certain thing, uh, certain materials like uh, I think what are they silkworms, but I think they have a better chance of dropping saplings. Which again, it's an emergency situation. I think I saw a silkworm drop too. Okay. Uh, the mod pack is a little laggy, but I mean, this isn't exactly uh, crash landing, though this is the map and most of the mod pack. I've actually adjusted slightly for my own uh, purposes. Because I added the uh, map writer mod. Just because the other map mod was a little too easy for me, it was just too easy, in my opinion. Now I like to start with the, the what is it the birch forest. I start uh, converting areas around here, and it's already becoming night, so I probably need an axe or something. Uh, unfortunately, I need more wood, like lots of wood. I also need to kill the zombies or just wait till day. That's gonna be not as fun. I really should have been digging more. Uh, dust. I'll just let that decay naturally. I just need more wood, and I need this dirt. Because uh, once I finally start uh, producing more stuff, I want to definitely have a couple things, and I really need that. Uh... Okay, I'm going to quickly gather as much sand as possible. my water. Almost empty. Uh, that camel pack is actually very useful for uh, keeping you hydrated without you using the water bottles themselves. And it's actually more efficient, I think. So, if you have the option to get a camel pack, do so. And until I can actually find a water supply, I'm going to be working in here. Now, what I did in my uh, other play is, and it, for me it was pretty foolish for me to do that uh, the way I had it, is I tried to block off that pyrothium when I wanted to do one other thing before I do 
anything else, I need to, right here, I want to see when it's day, and I don't want things spawning and getting captured in that, because a creeper got in there. And I need to get into the house, and, like, ASAP. Apple, please. No apple. It's too dangerous to be out at night. There are a lot of unfriendly things. Okay. Now I want to refill my camel pack. And I only have so much uh, water to do this with, so I need to be very conservative. There we go. Uh, and it gets a little laggy when uh, night happens, or at least when night first happens. Afterwards, it usually settles down pretty well. I guess it's just the sudden burst of monsters spawning. Uh, I want to get tons and tons of uh, materials. Usually I would actually put this uh, sieve in the this compartment, but for right now, this is more efficient. Uh, I know that F7, I think this area is dark. Yeah. Okay, uh, if I remember correctly, I can break that glass, but right now I don't have the uh, luxury of doing that. So, ooh, I see an egg. Gunpowder, surface quartz, dust. Okay, I can actually start making tools. Yeah, I should be able to make tools now. All this powder stuff can go in here. Uh, what was it? I needed a stone blade, didn't I, if I wanted to do that? Okay. I guess I'll just go with the quick thing of building Tinker's tools. As fortunately, Tinker's tools are. Uh, I kind of like the oak wood one. I will, however, make a crafting bench one with that too. I don't want that. I want the tool station, and I also need... That should work. By the way, there's creepers that explode even if they die. Or when they die. So, not smart to stay out. There we go. And spiders are a pain. But there's something I have to deal with right now. Part builder, tool station. Stencil. I need more stencils. Unfortunately, the first day is always the hardest for this. Uh, I'm going to need just a bit more. So, let's see, I can get tool, uh, two tools there, I want to go with, two, yeah, two more, oh. and that's as much as I can do without basically breaking the bank. <laughs> okay. Quickest way to start uh, doing this, uh, get a tool rod pattern, pickaxe pattern, shovel pattern, axe pattern, skip the swords for now, and tool binding. Next, it's probably best to use this bone meal, since bone meal is uh, readily available. I basically just make a full set of... Uh, bone tools. I'm gonna need three rods. 
I could use sticks for that technically, but I'm not feeling like wasting that. And one axe head. Next, this. I need this here. Bone shovel. But yeah, the axe is pretty much the best tool you have for actual weaponry. Or the axe, yeah. Uh, you always want to keep your ammo with you. Really, it's not very smart for me to have these on hand. But unfortunately, I don't have the availability of actually making a uh, chest, unfortunately. So. I don't have the ability to make uh, anything better either. So, it's still pitch black. I see a pumpkin creeper. And let's continue making dust. But yeah, I was, uh, it was like the first night. I was hearing all these explosions, and I came over here, and this entire area was just missing. But there, at least there was just a giant crater there instead of it being open. Uh, let's see. Anything next? Uh, Bone Crook. I can actually make that soon. Pretty much at, after this night. And I'm probably going to go with the Ethan. Uh, I want to go with the Heart Canister, just because... There's not really a point in me having to not use that. I'll get this one, and after that, I'm probably going to be stuck with uh, minimally or minimal stuff afterwards. Luckily, this axe will be very helpful uh, with this um, with the end of the night, at least. That's what I'm looking for: stone. Uh, I'm trying to stay away from the pyrothium just because there's creepers that explode still, and they do deal a fair amount of damage if you're standing right next to this. Man, I hear them like, loudly. <laughs> Luckily, my tools should be fine. Oh, since mob griefing is actually off, I can actually put doors. Hmm. It's actually some, some might be something to invest in. Nope. Let's store this stuff. Get a quick count of what I have. I could definitely use more stones. Salt's good, though. Uh, quest book, materials new, I already know all that. Steel working I've actually never read. Well, let's see what's in here. Construction. The high oven. Oh yes, this is the high oven stuff. Okay, I, I think I have read this. Ah, perfect. Spiders. Those are the problem ones. Oh, I actually wanted to make a rope here, but I don't have the. And I don't think they can hit me at all. But he can. But the 
this axe is pretty much the best uh, beginning melee weapon you can actually get for what I've uh, been able to uncover. I don't want to... Okay, that's the creeper that I think explodes regardless of if you... No, that's a tough creeper or something. But it really doesn't matter. I got the rotten flesh, and I guess I will see you guys on the next episode. Survive the night. So, if you like, to watch, uh, if you like what you're watching, subscribe if not. Oh well, have a nice day. See you next time.